Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Do you know what else had a great fall yesterday and this morning? Our temperatures. When are we going to warm it back up? Well, we're going to tell you in this hump day edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. See? It all fit together. And a very good morning to you. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It is the 11th of November, 2024. It's Wednesday and it's cold this morning. Mostly below freezing with temperatures down to the 20s and 30s this morning along the north of Interstate 10 or about the northern 70% of Texas. Temperatures down the teens in the western panhandle. Wind chills down towards 10 degrees. It's chilly. That is for sure, but it is most certainly not a frigid, super duper cold air. Uh oh, spaghetti o outbreak of doom situation i just want to throw that out there since well that seems to be a thing we're all still worried about given rightfully so what happened a few years ago but if it makes you feel better none of that is forecast anytime soon which means at least the next two weeks so let's go ahead and take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for today tonight into thursday guess what clouds are going to be increasing from west to east across the state it's going to be mostly cloudy tonight into thursday morning across a good chunk of texas and that will continue into thursday afternoon and evening you can see we're not even really expecting precipitation out of this today or tomorrow maybe some sprinkles but nothing that is remarkable in any way shape or form Sort of like me. I mean, I'm not that remarkable. I'm just good old baldy. Good news is, with the warm or with the cloud cover increase, we'll be able to keep things a bit warmer tonight. And even with cloud cover, we're going to be warmer today and tomorrow. Here's the wildfire outlook from the Texas A&M Forest Service today. High fire danger possible across the Panhandle, West Texas, with that threat. Same area tomorrow, maybe a bit into Central Texas. And Friday, the Panhandle, West Texas, coming off the Cap Rock into Northwest Texas, West Texas itself, especially along and west of Interstate 27, down to the Permian Basin, Midland, Odessa, into the Guadalupe Mounds, the Trans-Pecos, the Big Bend, the Davis Mounds, and into far West Texas around the borderland. Key message here, though, is eastern half of the state, low fire danger. The overall potential for large extended attack operations which if you don't know what that means i'm talking mostly to firefighters and uh, emergency managers here they remain certainly quite low over the next several days thankfully here is the long-range american weather model global forecast system as you can see friday morning well it's not as ambitious with the cloud cover across the western half of the state we'll see but it does start to fire off scattered showers eastern half of the state friday afternoon into saturday morning especially along the east of interstate 35 from texoma north texas central texas the whole country through you know, south central texas you can see the rain chances highest along and east of i-35 friday night into saturday and Saturday night, lull Sunday morning through Sunday afternoon, maybe a shower here or there. And then as we get into Sunday night into Monday morning, a cold front, not as strong as this one in any way, shape, or form, will move southeast with the possibility of maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms along the lean edge of that cold front. Sunday night into, well, Monday as that front moves across the southeastern half of Texas. There won't be enough moisture northwest half of the state, southeast half of the state. Eh, more moisture. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see in terms of how much moisture and instability are available. But we may get a few thunderstorms out of it. At this point, we're not particularly concerned about severe thunderstorm potential. But we'll monitor data as we get a bit closer to Sunday night and Monday. Because, well... I tried to make plans ahead of time, so undoubtedly something will happen to mess those up. That's usually how it goes, no matter the time of year. Here's the forecast rain totals over the next five days. So today through about 6 p.m. Sunday, the 15th of December, which will place it 10 days from Christmas. Isn't that a scary thought? Uh, the potential for about one-tenth to one-quarter of an inch of rain, maybe up to one-half inch to three-quarters of an inch of rain. Uh, the Arklatex, Northeast Texas, Eastern North Texas, East Texas, the Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas, into the Golden Triangle, the Upper Texas Gulf Coast. This will not be enough to cause flooding concerns, uh, either flash flooding or river flooding. Uh, this is just a decent soaking rain. Uh, good news is... Yeah, no flooding, no severe weather potential in the next several days. Dreary weather, but at least it'll be warm and dreary versus, you know, what we had 
this past weekend. Hint, it's going to get warmer. There, I gave the secret away. Uh, this does not include rain Sunday night through Monday, which, again, we could have some storms with that, so maybe some heavier rains. We'll bring that into the graphic system for tomorrow. Here's today's high temperature forecast. It is going to be warmer across most of the state versus the 40s with wind chills yesterday. Uh, we're going to have mostly 50s, 60s across the state today with, again, cloud cover increasing, but at least it'll be warmer. Uh, for a winter day, I mean, we're still above average temperature-wise for the most part, especially the northern half of the state. Southern half of the state, yeah, it's going to be cool, but, I mean, 50s and 60s, it could be worse. It could always be worse. It could be 110 degrees somehow or 10 Let's be happy it's neither. Tonight's low temperatures, it is going to be another chilly night. Not as cold as last, or this morning, last night, but it is going to be chilly. Uh, mostly looking at 30s across a vast majority of the state, with freezes likely across the Panhandle, uh, Piney Woods of East Texas, and, well, sheltered regions, low-lying areas. We're going to have more of a temperature gradient based on topography tonight versus last night so again this could be a situation where you know it's 41 degrees and what is that near dallas love field while it's you know 32 and then something like that so again it's going to be a cold night but not ridiculously cold still frost freeze likely for most of the state <laughs> with the exception of the Rio Grande Valley, where we'll have temperatures generally in the 40s tonight, which is still on the cool side for y'all. Tomorrow, high temperatures return to the 70s, deep south Texas, Rio Grande Valley, Rio Grande Plains, Coastal Bend, Coastal Plains, with upper 60s, Hill Country, Central Texas, Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas, northern half of the state, northern two-thirds of the state, looking at mostly 50s to low 60s. Friday, hey, that's not a bad way to end the work week. 70s back up to almost the Red River, northwest Texas and north Texas. 80s return to deep south Texas Rio Grande Valley along with the southern Big Bend Rio Grande City. We're looking at 60s all the way up into the Panhandle West Texas, the borderland. Coolest conditions up around Dalhart to Perryton highs upper 50s. Same thing around Texarkana. Saturday, a little bit more of a typical north-south temperature gradient. Highs 50s in the Panhandle, 60s, West Texas, Northwest Texas, Texoma, the Arklatex, all the way down to about the Concho Valley, San Angelo, over towards, uh, what is that, Fairfield to Tyler Longview. 70s to low 80s, southern half of the state. As we get into Sunday, 60s, 70s, low 80s for high temperatures across the entire state, increasing moisture across the southeastern half of the state. It may be a more humid day ahead of the chance for maybe some showers and storms with an advancing cool front, not as strong as this past one, arriving Sunday night and Monday. Here is the longer range temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Uh, again, still looking like above average temperatures in the time frame leading up to Christmas. We may see a cool down across the eastern third of the United States around Christmas. It remains to be seen if we're going to be in, getting in on any of that. But at this point, the days leading up to Christmas looks like it will be on the warm side. Uh, precipitation wise just like the outlook we shared yesterday a little bit of above average chance for some rain but again December is usually a drier month for us so it doesn't take much to get us into that above average territory looking more dry across the northwestern third of the state that is more typical so again there's weather to talk about but nothing crazy which is always good because we don't like crazy weather in December We've dealt with that in years past, and we don't want to do it again this year because, well, that requires work, and I want to spend time with family and friends and not work. See, I'm just like you. Speaking of just like you, weather calendars. So, y'all have done a thing over the last two days. I'm generally impressed. Thank you. We've shipped several dozen calendars. Uh, literally the last two days and I know it came from these videos because I mean literally we've had dozens of orders yesterday dozens of orders on Monday and we're down to the last couple dozen of calendars so y'all have done an amazing job thank you very much I think we're going to sell out this year we haven't the last couple of years uh, we've had some stock left over but at this rate no we're going to be done which is great. That puts money in our photographers' pockets and gets their Chase piggy bank going for next year so I can go out, get more amazing photography, and we can make a calendar for 2026. Uh, again, a couple of those calendars left, but they are going, going, gone soon. 
Something else we have, by the way, I haven't mentioned. You see these? Hi, hi, hi. These are Texas Storm Chasers bumper stickers, about 6 inches wide, 4.22 inches tall. I know that because I designed them and had to do the dimensions. Uh, we've got them on sale. Here on the screen, just like the calendar, uh, bumper stickers going for $3.99 and just pay for the shipping. That's it. So, hey, it's a great steal. You want to help support the channel, stuff like that, get some cool gear. That's an awesome way to do it. We've been throwing magnets in with all the orders as well, too, uh, with the bumper sticker and calendar. So, hey, we appreciate the support, really. Uh, it, it's awesome. It's blown me away, truthfully. So we're definitely going to be doing drops in 2025. I've already got some ideas as we get towards spring of some items we can do and put on sale. But that is going to be it for your Wednesday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Thank you so much for being a subscriber here on the Texas Weather Center. If you haven't already, hit that like button, the thumbs up button. We appreciate it. It makes us happier with the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed, hey, come on over. It's free. We're going to be doing these videos just like we have the last two years every day. We try not to do them on weekends, but when Mama Nature decides to throw temper tantrums, we do them on weekends. And, of course, severe weather coverage and more. Oh, wait until you see our plans for 2025, not only with live coverage for Texas Weather Center, but all the stuff planned in the storm chasing and Texas Storm Chasers Department. It's going to be great. Hope you'll join us. Yeah, that's about it. That's my usual spiel, isn't it? So I guess all I have to say now is get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. And again, thank you for so much for all the great support over the last few days. It's really blown us away, and it's been great. So thank you. And with that, we'll be back bright and early Thursday with your next edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. As always, God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.